Hey guys, we'll go back really big. P-Back here, give us another one. We got some more lost judgment for you. Uh, we just got the briefing in our last video about this uh, bullying case, and we got to go undercover as some like some sort of repairman, I think. But if you haven't already and you're liking the series, go ahead and subscribe to see some more of Tak and Kaito and the rest of the gang's uh, journey here and see what kind of mysteries we run into and uncover. And uh, yeah, let's get into this thing, shall we? Alrighty. The beats that they got in this freaking game, I tell you. Shark stars. Can I play for them? The dramatic walkthrough. <laughs> A tough day's work ain't no match for these foes. Everyone's. What's up with those guys? <laughs> They sure look like men on a mission, but for what? We will now commence our journey by taxi to Sewio High. <laughs> Gentlemen, Good luck. are we all ready? Yup. Remember, this case can open up a lot for us depending on how we solve it. So let's leave no stone unturned. You got it. <laughs> Don't worry. No case is too big or too small. We always Breaking guitar defenses. in the background. Ain't that right, Tom? <laughs> you know it. Good. Then let's get going. <laughs> Damn, this is a high school. It's a lot better than my high school ever did. Ah, you must be the repairman. The chairman said you'd be here. I take it you know where you're going? Yes, but thank you anyway. Ooh, this place reeks of money. Uh, they are a prestigious prep school. Wonder if the kids are on recess. Yeah, yeah, prep school. So, our first order of business is to analyze the layout of the school. The schoolyard should provide the proper vantage point. Let's head there. You're the boss. It seems this school's design is fairly conventional. See, there's the classroom building, and that must be the gym. By the way, how many spy cams do we have? Twenty in total, all of which feed directly to my computer. <laughs> Think we ought to split them up between us? We could, but that might draw extra attention. We stick out enough as is, so people will wonder what we're doing alone. But if we moved in pairs, they'd write us off a lot easier. <laughs> Clever as always, Yagamishi. Huh. That reminds me of something. When a con man pretends to be a cop, they'll usually bring along a partner. It seems the added person adds legitimacy. Unless you're a natural skeptic. All that is to say, Yagamishi knows his material. Well, thank you. That talk? <laughs> you should have been a con man. Very funny. So, how about Kaito-san and I take half the cameras and you guys take the rest? Where are they, anyway? Right here. Now, these cameras don't see very far, but they do see wide. 150 degrees, to be precise. So let's try to set them up where we think a bully would be most likely to strike. So, we just gotta find the teacher's blind spots, eh? <laughs> You're looking at a natural, buddy. You would brag about something like that, Kaito-san. Yeah, only Kaito. <laughs> Better stop before I blush. <laughs> He's always so enthusiastic. Right. Guys, God I love it. it's time for action. Okay, Tak and I'll start here. And you guys can work your way around opposite us. Affirmative. We've only got ten cameras, so we gotta use them smart. Alright, you lead the way, bro. You're the man who knows all the blind spots, so... The shoe lockers. <laughs> Bet all kinds of team drama goes down here. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's where you drop love letters to your crush. Or challenge your rivals to duels. Dude. Uh, what's the I'll do that? Cause I sure as hell didn't. <laughs> Look, whatever. All I'm saying is, 
This place is worth at least three cameras. The fluff? That many just for the lockers? Yep. See, a school never has that many blind spots. So when you do find one, you make it special. And this one's pinging my radar pretty hard here. Hopefully uh, the radar is the only thing After it's that, pinging. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> I'm a little worried about you otherwise. Sukumo reporting in. I see you've set up a few cameras already. Mm -hmm. Speed is coming in nice and clear. You guys are doing awesome. Thanks. That's things on your end. We just finished with the back of the gym. Next up is the classroom building. Copy that. All right, Doc. Just follow my lead. All right. Don't know what just happened over the camera, but uh, hey, wait up, Kaito. Uh, excuse me, sir. Damn, do you used to go to school here or something, Kaito? You know this uh, school pretty well. I don't remember seeing the blueprints anywhere. <laughs> That's not suspicious at the all. Boys will handle this floor. So let's go up one more. Gotcha. Every bully loves a good pair the of stairs. Fluff. <laughs> Pushing someone down and ruins their day pretty quick. You think it's really that often? Still, it is a blind spot. Yep. Close corners make for poor visibility. Making this a number one choice among assholes. <laughs> you don't say. Alright. Then let's get a camera here. Why wouldn't you just like put it above the All right. fire? Let's uh, move up to the next floor. Put it in the middle or some shit. Yagami sheep, are you perhaps on the second floor? Yeah, we're about to start setting up. Okay, we're almost done with the first floor and we'll be heading to the east building after. I think we can handle that all on our own. So can you finish up the second and third floors here? Sure, not a problem. Splitting up for a bit shouldn't hurt. How about I take the second floor and you do the third? Fine, bro, Works we for can me. do that. Hopefully I've learned enough from uh, Kaito here. <laughs> Where to slip these cameras. But for, uh, I think he said six to nine hundred students or something. That seems small. For only having one building of classrooms, I don't know. Does to me at least. I feel like someone's gonna catch me putting one of these on and be like, what the hell are you doing, boy? Men's bathroom? Jesus. That ain't uh <laughs> that ain't ethical at all. I guess you could just put them above the sinks, you know. There's a little wall there. Alright, one more. Another one on the stairs, perhaps? Oh! A real repairman. Uh, looking for something, pal? Yeah, I'm kind of busy. In case uh, you couldn't tell. What? what am I investigating? Behind your goddamn back, boy. Suspicious. Mm. Drinking alcohol back there? Oh, smoking a cig, huh?
I'm pretty sure smoking's not allowed in school. Should you really be doing that here? Ooh, uh, I can't see the smoke just that, billowing huh? out behind you. Did you uh, keep this between us? I can. But in exchange, I'm gonna need this area clear. Yeah, sure. No problem. Just yeah. Tell Get your ass back to work, lazy motherfucker. I smell alcohol in that bottle too, so I put you away for a good time. That's no, good. <laughs> Get you fired though. I hate doing those investigations like that sometimes, because sometimes you get everything but one little thing, and it's like, what the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> Alright, that's all the cameras. Better meet up with Kaito, son. Alright, Kaito, don't I hope you ain't having too much fun with this. Get us kicked out and blow our cover here. Kaito son, I'm done setting up the third floor. Same. I've hit up every blind spot I could think of. Thing is, I've still got two hmm. cameras left. Maybe this tight corridor might be good. The teachers probably pass by without a second glance. Hey, Kaito-san. Don't you think we should be installing these in classrooms? Isn't that where bullying primarily takes place? You might be right about that. But we couldn't cover every classroom if we wanted to, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, fair enough. Nice to see you putting so much thought into this. So, as professionals, we'll just have to make do with what we've got. We should set this camera up where we can get the broadest view. How about the ceiling yeah. in the middle of the hall? Then we'll see everyone going in and out of class. Okay, Tuck, I'm gonna give you a boost. So make sure you find a good spot for that thing, okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> Isn't there a ladder or some shit we could use? You know, we totally could have done this during recess. Everyone's just staring hey, at us. Hey, why they all staring at my dick? Too fuck? late to whine now. Just do what you gotta do and be done. Like a utility ladder we could've used to <laughs> make it a little less suspicious, good lord. Also, clean these damn walls. Look how dirty that thing is. Huh? Oh, there's some of the suspects we beat the hell out of. Down there, bro. Right. Those kids who started trouble at the restaurant. You noticed too, huh? Classroom two two. Sounds like we've got some bullies in there for sure. That'll be a prime spot for the last camera. All right. Just make sure they don't see your face. Excuse me, but I don't recall there being an inspection today. Uh... Uh... Oh... Sorry to be in your way, ma'am. We won't take long. I understand. But nobody notified me we'd have any interruptions. Yeah. And nobody notified us this school hired such gorgeous teachers. You know what? I don't seem to recognize either of you. Probably because our usual repairmen were here just last month. Uh, I can't say I know anything about that. We're just here doing our job, ma'am. You can call me Sawa-sensei, not ma'am. And you're in my classroom. Forgive me, but who, may I ask, called you here? Sorry about that, y'all. I don't know what the hell's going on with my camera, but, uh, alright. Damn, I think she's on to us. What's the best way out of this? Let's just tell you the truth. Who's the chairman who called us in? I had assumed all teachers were notified. Oh, the chairman. Well, I suppose I should leave it at that then. Yeah, I suppose well, you should. Well, when you say it like that... It... Did he make this appointment with you directly? Uh, yep, yeah, he sure actually did. He did yeah. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for your business. Hmm, and I'm sure our chairman gave you his name? His name? Oh. Well, uh, that would be... Oh, God. 
What? Oh, it's Okuda-san. I do remember his name. <laughs> Okuda-san. How could I forget? Yes. Of course. I'm sorry for being so rude. Oh, no. No yeah, you ain't gotta worry about it. By the way, anyone ever tell you how stunning you are? <laughs> Kaito, I was just about to say. Hey, my Agra, dream gal, even. What? Kaito, you fucking idiot. Uh, ignore him, please. Like I said, we'll get this done quick and be out of your hair. <laughs> Kaito trying to blow our cover. I just stepped on one of the discs. Sorry again for the disturbance. We'll be going now. Sheesh. Kaito was right though. She cute. Feel like we'll definitely run onto them on the way out. Son. You forget we're working here? Yeah, but man, that chick's the spitting image of a teacher I had a crush on. One of my few good school memories. <laughs> What, so that makes me the bad guy? All right, all right. Back to work. I get it. This is Tsukumo reporting in. Yagamishi, please respond. Hey, man. We just finished setting up the cameras. Good. So did we. Could you and Kaito-san meet us at the gymnasium, then? It's empty at the moment. I thought we might as well check the camera feed and discuss what to do moving forward. Got it. Then we'll see you at the gym. To the gym, bro. Let's go put up some shots. And dunk on Kaito son for slipping up in front of the pretty lady. I got player for her. <laughs> player for the chance to ask her out. I, you don't own women. Come on. They not prizes to be won. Hey, like, all right. I want that item, but never mind. Some small ass doors. Barely cleared my head. Excellent work, gentlemen. All cameras are fully operational. It's a dope basketball court. So, now all we do is sit back and watch? Something like that, yes. By the way, Yagamishi, I noticed you installed a camera in a classroom. Mm -hmm. Did you find a lead there or something? So did. Yeah, that classroom had those problem kids from yesterday. Thought they'd be worth keeping an eye on. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, nothing unusual's turned up yet. Guess we'll have to watch and wait. These cameras got a sound, too. If there's any bullying happening at this school, this is a surefire way to find out. Yeah, they definitely gonna recognize us when we leave. I just got a feeling. <clears throat> hey, though, why are you smoking, bro? Why am as I smoking? It is, the hell? There's something about smoking in school that makes it feel twice as good. You're awfully nostalgic today, Kaito-san. Are you? Yeah, well, my school wasn't as fancy as this one. Plus, I dropped out after a year. Uh-oh. Guys, check this out. Ooh, what could it be? Found something. What is it? This is the classroom where Yagamishi set up the camera. Imagine that. Class 2-2. Two, two. What the hell? They're bullying a girl? Now they're picking on a girl. Not who they thought they'd be bullying. Whoa, did you see that? What the hell? No, no, they're writing something on her? With a permanent marker? Yo, Tom, let's go kick the shit out of those punks. No way I'm letting that slide. Yeah, this is a problem. Hold on, Yagami-san. Can't go busting in, bro. Looks like they got what they came for. They were already leaving the classroom. Man, Homeboy got a new phone already. Right? helping her? It, it's like they don't even want to see it. Shit, think this doesn't involve you. Let's go, Kaito-san. I want to see what happened with my own two eyes. Yeah. I suppose we should report this to our client. I didn't expect to find anything this quickly, though. But now, we have irrefutable evidence that bullying is real here at Serio. We'll have to take this up with the chairman and see how we should proceed.
All right, let's go do this thing. Are we actually gonna go bust some heads? Oh my god, I'm on X Games mode. Tripped on the damn stairs. Oh, ah, I got you, boy. Go ask this girl what's up. Damn. They right on there. Talk. That's her. The girl we saw on camera. Let's get a little closer and see how she's doing. Suspicious. Can't I just ask her? Mommy Coda. That must be her name. It's on her hand. Hey. It's Tsukumo, Paging Yagamishi. Yeah. What's up? I've just reported our findings to the chairman. Could you meet us here? His office is on the third floor of the East Building. On our way. You're too fast. Are you ditching me? Please come in. You're that teacher. Sawa-sensei, wasn't it? To what do we owe the pleasure? All of these men are detectives? Yes, and I'd like you to keep their identities a secret. These gentlemen here are Yakami-san and Kaito-san. I see. Very well, then. I've explained the situation to Sawa-sensei, our homeroom teacher for class 2-2. Why don't you both have a seat? I knew something was wrong. But I could never put my finger on what. The girl being bullied. Her name's Mommy Koda. Do I have that right? Yes. She's in the basketball club. And so are all those kids surrounding her. I wonder if that's where the bullying started. Sawa-sensei, you mentioned noticing something was wrong? Well, only that Koda-san hasn't been herself lately. Suspend him. Expel him. Kick those bullies the hell out of here. The video we took has all you need. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. For one thing, it would be quite problematic to use this video as evidence. True. The school can't just come out and say, we've been recording your kids without consent. Yes, and let us bear in mind, they still have their whole lives ahead of them. We cannot treat this lightly. <gasps> You're not saying we should look the other way, are you? Hey, last night you said the total opposite, man. If you intend to cover this up, let me just begin by saying... No one is suggesting we cover it up. Then we need to act now. We have no idea how close to the edge Koda-san could be. What if there's a chance? What if she does something drastic before tomorrow? Yeah, and actually this is a big issue, like in Japan, because they have a super high suicide um, rate for whatever reason, so. so. Bullying is rarely resolved so by the victim and the perpetrator coming to a mutual all agreement. Around, it's even more so Thus, a problem here. a third party must intervene. More, uh, I presume you read that in a book somewhere. I can tell you from experience that no victim finds it easy to open up about their situation. Not to family, friends, anyone. It takes a tremendous amount of courage for a bullied child to come forth and seek help. So if we, as outsiders, are to intervene, we must consider the ramifications. Even so! No, I think the chairman's right. Making a big scene might only make things worse for Kodasan. Come on, talk. That's not like you. Someone's drowning right in front of your eyes, and you're just gonna watch him sink? What I'm saying is, we have to put a stop to the bullying without getting the whole school involved. What started in that classroom will end in that classroom. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, but did you say you were a detective? The name's Yagami. And you want to put a stop to the bullying like it's that easy? Tell me. Where does all this confidence come from? 
You think there's a real chance we could pull this off, Yagami-san? I do. Can you bring up that video again? Sure. One moment. I think the secret to stopping the bullying is right here in this video. Really? Then by all means, detective, enlighten us. You don't have to be so condescending. Nope, she's got a point. You gotta back up that claim. I think Kaito, who's so signing on? this big secret you're talking about? It's those students sitting idly by. They're aware of the problem, but aren't doing anything to help. Well, yeah, there's a whole flock of bullies. Get in their way, you're their next target. Adults do the same thing, honestly. Guess we're not so different from high schoolers. Then we should hold some sort of trial and get the class involved? Is that what you're trying to suggest? Again, something like that would only spread the issue. And that would only bring more pain to Kodosan. Tell me, what is your suggestion, Yagami-san? What I'm getting at is that it's the silence of all her classmates that's empowering these bullies. On the surface, we only see students turning their eyes as one of their own gets tormented. They feign disinterest, or pretend not to notice, because remember, that's the safest thing to do. But deep down, it kills them to see it. Yeah, no shit. So if the class could just express that, the pressure would then shift to the bullies. We have to tip the social balance in that classroom, become the voices of justice, of social law. Then, it's the bullies who become the outcasts. Would they keep running the risk of bullying if it meant social exile? Hmm. Huh. I can see how you arrived there. All right, so where do we come in? We come in by giving the bystanders a voice. We're going to be the spark that lights a fire. After all, the first voice matters the most. Okay, so what's the plan here? Tsukumo, how fast can you get your hands on a couple of mini speakers? I want to put them in the classroom where they can't be seen. I can have them here momentarily, but I admit I don't really grasp the plan here. I don't blame you. I honestly can't say it'll work, but I think it's worth a shot. <laughs> I see. In that case, I'll be back before school's out. Chairman, I don't know what these detectives are planning, but I'll tell you this right now. I refuse to stand idly by while a student gets pushed to the breaking point. Do you remember what I told you about the student who committed suicide? That affected Sawa-sensei profoundly. Perhaps she blames herself for being unable to prevent it, whatever the cause may have been. I can see that. As the chairman of this school, I don't want to let her down. So please, help her, Yakimi-san. Help us all. How's it coming along, Yagamishi? No complications, I presume? So far, so good. Looks like most of the students have gone home. Do you have the speakers I gave you? Yep, and they're just what I needed. You're the man, Tsukumo. <laughs> How about we save the praise for after our plan works out? Anybody in the classroom right now? In class 2-2? Let me check. Hmm? Now that's odd. What's wrong? Well, that one's fine, but there's something wrong with the camera in the classroom building. The one on the second floor by the stairs. Is it broken? No, still getting a signal. Something might be blocking the lens? All right. I'll check it out on the way. <clears throat> All right, y'all. That's going to have to wait till next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to keep watching this series and see how this bullying thing unfolds. But till next time, stay safe, y'all. Stay blessed. Peace.